our trip to St. Croix was amazing. And these are my top 15 beaches when you're visiting St. Croix. So I'm gonna take you from the east side of St. Croix up to the north, then to the west and finish off in the south. Number one is Isaacs Bay Beach. You have to hike to get to this beach, but it's totally worth it. It's got turquoise blue waters, the sand is super soft, and the snorkeling is in crystal clear water. Number two is Jack's Bay Beach, which is right next to Isaacs Bay Beach. And this beach is also beautiful, super soft sand and crystal clear water. Number three is Buck Island. This is on the north side of St. Croix. This is an island off of the main island, so you have to book an excursion to get there. It's definitely worth it. This is a must do. The turquoise waters, the super soft sand, and it was so fun snorkeling this coral reef. Number four is Shoy's Beach on the north side of St. Croix. This beach is awesome just for the entrance. You walk through this canopy of trees and you come out onto this beautiful beach. Number five is Mermaid Beach. This beach has amazing palm trees, soft sand, and crystal clear water. Number six is Grotto Beach on the north side of St. Croix. This also has really soft sand. It has a reef that goes along the edge. So there's some openings to get out to swim where you can see all the people swimming. This was an awesome beach. Number seven is Cane Bay Beach on the north side of St. Croix. The views of this beach are absolutely fantastic and the snorkeling was amazing too. Number eight isn't so much for the beach, but it's for the Annalee Bay Tide Pools. So Annalee Bay Beach is all rocks, but the Tide Pools are definitely worth visiting. Number nine is Butler Bay Beach. This is a rocky beach, so it's not necessarily an awesome beach, but the shipwreck dive site was amazing. So as we went out, we saw turtles, we saw all sorts of fish, and then you arrive at this sunken ship, which was super fun to snorkel. Number 10 is Sprat Hall Beach on the west side of St. Croix. We love this beach. It's got super soft sand, the water's crystal clear, and just an amazing place to relax and hang out. Number 11 is Rainbow Beach on the west side of St. Croix. This is more of a touristy beach with lots of excursions, a restaurant, a beach chair and umbrella rentals, but a great place to hang out. Number 12 is the Frederickstead Beach and Pier on the west side of St. Croix. I included this one because the snorkeling here is amazing. This is probably the best snorkeling we did in St. Croix. These little squids, we saw turtles, all sorts of sea life, and even a spotted eagle ray. Number 13 is West Beach on the west side of St. Croix. There's plenty of parking. There were hardly any people when we went. We absolutely love this beach. Number 14 is Sandy Point National Wildlife Refuge. It's only open September through March because it's a sea turtle nesting area. You can access this beach through West Beach or the main parking lot. And we finished up with number 15, Haypenny Beach, which is on the south side of St. Croix, another amazing and beautiful beach in St. Croix. So overall, we were blown away by the beauty of these beaches in St. Croix. We hope that this video gives you some ideas of beaches to visit on your next trip to St. Croix. And if you wanna check out each beach, we have a full video for each one.